Hi everybody, this is Nora and on this video I am going to show you how to create the design that you saw at the beginning of the video in the photo. And this is a design that was totally inspired by Robin Moses. She called it neon flowers or bright neon flowers on black and that's what I believe she called it. <clears throat> and for this particular money I am going to use several different neon colors. I believe she used neon acrylic paint but I do not have neon acrylic paint so I am going to use my polishes and as you can see here I started out with my base colors um, the black for my two middle fingers is just this um, this is black on black from sinful colors this is one of the best blacks ever and the bright pink is this one by Zoya this is a neon color, it dries matte. I did not start out with a white base for this. I just laid this straight to my nail. This one is called Alley, A-L-I. And then for the effect that you see here on my pinky, get this closer, I used three colors. The yellow that you see there is this one by Simple Colors. Let's meet. Then I used this one from Claire's. It's called Flashy. Then just over that, I applied this is Purple, Purple Panic by China Glaze. This is from one of last year's colors. So I've already created that effect here, my pinky. I will start out about, you'll see me how to go about that on my index finger and then after that we'll start with the flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to creating the flowers and some neon spots on the nail. I'm going to work on my middle nail and because we are using neon polish colors uh, we want to use white as a base so I am using my white acry uh, acrylic paint and I'm just going to pick it up right off the cap here and I'm going to use a small detail brush like this Now I am going to use a dotting tool about this size, do some spots. Now while this is drying, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm going to use for the flowers. It's this neon green, it's a striping polish, but it's the only neon green of like in this shade that I have by nail art and the yellow is going to be this one it's called Sun Worshipper this one is another old one from China Glaze from last year this dries matte and this is a new purple from the this year's new Electric Nights Collection, Blurpore. You see me work with this one a lot this year. So let's get started. So I am starting out with, this is just a little piece of foil here where I'm going to, I'm going to use it to drop in some of the polish. And I'm going to go ahead and work with one polish at a time because they do they do dry fast. And for this, I'm going to first try it out this brush here and see how it works out first. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to move on to 
a more detailed brush. I do need to, because this is nail polish, I do need to clean this with acetone. I think the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the purple. Okay, I've already starting out with a clean brush again, and I'm going to move on to this bright color here. It's somewhat of a in between yellow and orange. Okay, now the next step that I'm going to work on is going to be the center of the flowers. And you can use, well, you can, you can use black polish, but I'm choosing to use my black acrylic paint. I will be picking it off right off the cap here and using my much more detailed brush here. I, you could also use your dotting tool, but um, this is going to give it more of a not so perfectly rounded center, but somewhat uh, imperfect so it will have a little bit of texture okay guys so for this next step you as you notice here I have I have created I use white paint and created somewhat of a, uh, a border around my flowers I left this purple one so I can show you how I went about doing that and this is something that I chose to do on my own again while this is this was inspired by one of Robin Moses design this is my take on it and so here's the white paint that I'm going to use in my fine detail brush and I'm going to make sure I don't have too much paint and then just go Just kind of brush that very gently. Around the petals. Hopefully that came on camera. And that's what I did. Okay, so for this next step, I am going to move on to creating the, um, this little viney branches with leaves and I'm going to do that using black acrylic paint again I'm going to pick it up right off the cap and my fine detail striper Okay guys, so here's the final result after I cleaned up and applied top coat. I hope you guys liked my take on this design. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and thank you for watching.